Hi, you guys. How you doing? It's Grandma here. I'm so excited to talk to you. I miss you. I'm glad you've been having fun. I saw your pictures from the day that you played with the, the colored powder, the powdered chalk, I guess. It was a beautiful, fun day, huh? So I heard you liked the story about the chameleon. So I'm gonna read you The Mixed Up Chameleon by Eric Carl. First I wanted to show you, this is a side, a side view of just the head of a real chameleon. This is a real picture. So I'm hoping you can see it. I'll bring it a little closer. It's just one side of him so you can see his eye and he has his beautiful colors. They are really, a, the chameleons are a beautiful creature, huh? So I'm glad you're learning about them. So let's see what this story by Eric Carl has to tell us. The Mixed Up Chameleon. <clears throat> On a shiny green leaf sat a small green chameleon. It moved onto a brown tree and turned brownish. Isn't that wonderful? Then it rested on a red flower and it turned reddish. When the chameleon moved slowly across the yellow sand, it turned yellowish. You could hardly see him. When the chameleon was warm and had something to eat, it turned sparkling green. But when it was cold and hungry, it turned gray and dull. When the chameleon was hungry, it sat still and waited. Only its eyes moved up, down, sideways, until it spotted a fly. Then, the chameleon's long and sticky tongue shot out and caught the fly. That was its life. It was not very exciting. But one day, the chameleon saw a zoo. He had never seen so many beautiful animals. See all these animals at the zoo? The bear, the elephant, the giraffe, Little fox, the deer, beautiful flamingo, goldfish. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I think it's a dolphin or a seal and a turtle. The chameleon thought, how small I am, how slow, how weak. I wish. I could be big and white like a polar bear. And the chameleon's wish came true. But was it happy? What do you think? Was he happy being a polar bear? No. I wish I could be handsome like a flamingo. Can you see the pictures here? There's the polar bear, there's the beautiful flamingo. Now he's wishing that he could be like the flamingo and have the wings and the long legs. I wish I could be smart like a fox. There's the fox's beautiful tail. You see him there? I wish I could swim like a fish. Oh, he has all, <laughs> he has the tail and the fins and the feathers like all these animals he wishes he could be. I wish I could swim like a fish. I wish I could run like a deer. This is antlers there like the deer has. Can you see all the animals here that he wishes he could be? They're kind of small, but I hope you can see them. I wish I could see things far away, like a giraffe. A giraffe is so tall, you can see very far. 
Look at that mixed up animal. I wish I could hide in a shell like a turtle. I wish I could be strong like an elephant. was a seal. I wish I could be funny like a seal. I wish I could be like people. Just then, a fly flew by. The chameleon was very hungry, but the chameleon was very mixed up. It was a little of this, it was a little of that, and it could not catch the fly. Uh-oh. I wish I could be myself. The chameleon's wish came true and it caught the fly. Caught it right there with his long tongue. It's so special to the chameleon. Beautiful rainbow. So there's that story by Eric Carl, and he had kids, actually, it was kids that helped him make this book. They drew the animals that they liked and talked about the things the animals did. So that is a beautiful story. I hope you liked it. I'll show you one more time the picture of a real chameleon. Just this one side of his head, so you can see his eye there. Color your world with books. That's what he says. So I'm wondering if you can see your pictures up here. Have a neat one of Daddy and Walker when they went to the aquarium in New Orleans. And there's one of Daddy with Baby Hadley. And one of Hayes. I think that's when you went to the paddle boat in New Orleans and rode on that. Okay. So I'm gonna have a friend here help me say goodnight to you. Let's see, he came over, he wanted to be sure and say goodnight to you guys. <laughs> it's our little friend, our little froggy friend, Kermit. So he says, goodnight, I love you. I love Walker, Hayes, and Hadley. Night, 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 night. <laughs>